I doodled onto a banana peel with a fork without really thinking about what I was doing. And then when I looked back at the banana one hour later, I saw that where I had doodled had created really clear lines and pictures. I don't draw on paper first. I usually just go straight onto the banana. I do this every day. So now it's been about 800 bananas. When I create banana art, I don't use paint, I don't use ink or a pencil, I just bruise the peel of the banana. Um, so I do that by using a blunt point, I use a seam ripper, and I just lightly press into the peel of the banana. And at first you can't really see the mark that you've made, but gradually over time it goes from being invisible all the way to black. I can create images that have lots of different shades by starting with the parts that I want to be the darkest first, waiting for them to bruise, and then working my way backwards until I, I leave the lightest part last. I draw all sorts of different things. Sometimes I'll do a portrait or I'll do my own interpretation of a classic artwork like the Mona Lisa. I'll do illusions and I'll make the banana look like it's something else, like a corn on the cob. I get inspiration from what's happening in the world on that day. So it could be showing support for a particular social cause, or it could be responding to something in the news or um, celebrating something that people are talking about. I've raised awareness and raised money for different causes and charities. Most recently, I raised money to support the victims of Ukraine. When I've created the artwork and the image looks its best, I take a photograph and then I post that picture online on Twitter and Instagram. And through doing that each day, I've developed a following of people from all over the world. And um, when I've posted it, I eat the banana, so no food goes to waste. 